now we look at example 4. Okay, you need to design a synchronous counter okay, using JK flip-flop to produce the following counting sequence. Okay, so based on this sequence, okay, you have four numbers, yeah, 0, 2, 4, and 6. Okay, so meaning that there are some numbers that are not included in the list. Okay, because when you uh, start uh, your uh, solution for the first step, which is excitation table, Okay, you know that you need to use uh, three variable, okay, because the largest number here is six. So six in binary is one, one, zero. So that's why you need to use uh, three variable A, B, C. So when uh, you use three variable, <coughs> sorry, meaning that uh, you need to have eight values, okay. So, uh, but there are some numbers not uh, in the list, okay, or not in the counting sequences. Okay? Uh, when you list down the present state values, you need to list down all the values or all the numbers, even though the numbers not list in the counting sequence. Okay? Because the excitation table, uh, the present state is actually same with the input for your truth table. Okay, so if you remember in chapter 4, chapter 3, uh, for the application questions, okay, even though you have uh, numbers that not uh, occur in the application, you still need to list all the values for the input. So same goes with the excitation table. Okay, even though the numbers are not uh, listed in the counting sequences, but your present state must have all values. Okay, start from value 0 until value 7. Okay. Your next state must follow the counting sequence. Okay. But what will happen to the numbers that are not in the list? Okay. So meaning that the numbers that are not in the list is actually not occur in the counting sequence. So when the number is not occur in the counting sequence, what is the value that we can put for the next state value and also for the j and k okay. x right because uh, the concept is actually same with the uh, k map concept yeah uh, when the values is not uh, occur in the application so you need to put something okay, in your table okay either the truth table or citation table so the value that you can put to represent the number or the value that not occur in the application is x okay. right so uh, we start with the value that already in the list okay so you have four values okay zero two four and six <clears throat> so next step for zero is two okay so two in binary is zero one zero Okay, next step for 2 is 4, so 4 is 1, 0, 0. Next step for 4 is 6, so 6 is 1, 1, 0. And then next step for 6 is 0, okay, which is 0, 0, 0. So we have 4 values or 4 decimal numbers that's that not in the list. So uh, the number that not in the list, okay, we need to uh, insert x for the next state value okay we need to input x for all columns okay including the j and k okay because the value is not occur so uh, you need to put x all uh, columns okay including the j and k so three also not in the list so we put x okay five also not in the list yeah, so we put x and lastly 7 also not in the list so you put x right so this is for the value that not in the list so you just put x okay, starting from next state until your j and k uh, for the number that uh, in the list or in the counting sequences so you you need to find the input for j and k okay? Uh, based on the variable okay, you, again you must remember the transition from present state and next state and what is the jk input okay so you have present state next state 
and j and k okay so 0 0 0 1 okay 1 2 0 and then 1 2 1 okay so the input for j and k based on this transition okay 0 0 the input is 0 x okay 0 1 is 1 x 1 0 is x 1 1 1 is x 0 okay so you just fill in the value of j and k based on this transition okay so we start with a okay present state a first okay zero next state is zero so zero zero is zero x okay next okay zero one okay zero one is one x okay next one one so one one is x zero okay next is one zero Okay, so 1, 0 is x, 1. Okay, done with A. So now we move to JB, KB. So you need to compare between B present state and B next state. Okay, so 0, 1 is 1x. One okay, 1, 0 is x, 1. Okay, 0, 1 is 1x. One Okay, and then 1, 0 is x, 1. Okay, and lastly for JC, KC. Yeah, so you uh, compare between present state C and next state C. Okay, first is 0, 0 is 0, x. Okay, 0, 0, 0, x. Okay, 0, 0 is 0, x. And lastly, 0, 0 is 0, x. Okay, complete for our first step, okay, which is excitation table. Okay, next we move to k map. Okay, we move to k map. Okay, you just map the value of your ja, ka, jb, kb, jc, kc to this k map. Okay, we start with J A. Okay, you only map the value of zero. Sorry, the value of x and one. Okay, so zero x. Okay, one x. Okay, x x x x. Okay, and then loop. Yeah, so the equation is actually equal to b. Okay, next is K A. So, Ka is x, 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 0, x, 1, x. Okay. Okay, loop. So, the value also is equal to B. Okay. And then for JB, okay, so JB is 1, x, 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 okay, 1, x, x. X. Okay, because in this K map, uh, the values only contain 1 and X. So, meaning that you can look all cells. Okay, you can look all cells. So, the equation will be equal to 1. Okay. For KB, X, X, 1, X. Okay, X, X, 1, X. So KB also same with the JB. You can look all cells. Okay, so the equation is equal to 1. Okay, and then next is JC. Okay, JC. Okay, 0x. Okay, 0x. Okay, 0x, 0x. So because uh, the value inside the K-map for JC only x. So meaning that you don't have to uh, loop because x alone is actually uh, representing 0. So here the equation is equal to 0. Okay. So Kc, okay, if you refer to the citation table, so all x. Okay, all x. So this is also same with the uh, Jc value which is equal to 0. Okay. So this is the second step. Okay, this is the second step. Uh, you simplify the 
equation which is uh, simplify the value of j and k. So our last step is draw the counter circuit. Okay, draw the counter circuit. Okay, so we start with the basic diagram of the counter circuit. Okay, meaning that you need to draw the flip flop. Okay, so you have three flip flop. Okay, one for each variable. Okay, and then you must remember the basic labeling for flip flop. Okay, so the first flip flop is belong to A. Okay, and then second flip flop. Okay, J, K, triangle, Q, Q bar, S, R. So this one is belong to B. And the last flip flop is for C. Okay, Q bar, S, R, triangle, and then this is for C. Okay, and then the triangle must be connected to clock. Okay, so all triangle must be connected to line clock. Right, so now we proceed uh, drawing the counter circuit based on the equations. Eh? So JA is equal to B. So this is your JA and then this is your B. KA also equal to B. Okay, so you just connect to the same line here. Okay, JB and KB is equal to 1. So you just draw one line and then just put value of 1. And then K also, you draw a line and then connect it to the same line of JB. Okay, JC, KC is equal to 0. So you can use the same method with uh, JB, KB. Which is you draw a line and then just put 0. Okay, and then KC also equal to 0. Okay, so this is the uh, process of uh, drawing the counter circuit okay, based on the K-map. Okay. So now we complete solve the problem okay, of uh, example 4. Okay. So example 4 is actually one of the example uh, that uh, have a value of x, okay, which is the the don't care value okay, in your excitation table. So actually, we have another method, sorry, another example that also uh, need to put x value, okay, which is the don't care value in your excitation table. Okay, uh, which is when your present state don't have next state value. Okay, so when uh, your counting sequence Okay, and then uh, there are numbers in your counting sequence don't have next state value, meaning that don't have next error. Okay, next, sorry, next arrow. So meaning that that uh, present state value uh, don't have any next state value. So you need to put X, okay, for the next state value. So I, I show you uh, the example of uh, counting sequence. Okay. So if you have this kind of uh, counting sequence, okay, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so based on this uh, county sequence, okay, the numbers is actually uh, in the county sequence, right? Because you have 8 numbers. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, but if you see the arrow, okay, there is one number that don't have next arrow okay which is number six okay so number six only have incoming arrow but uh, number six don't have um, out arrow okay or next arrow so meaning that when you uh, put the value in the excitation table okay, for value six k 
Okay, present state 6. So the next state for 6 is x. Because in this example, 6 don't have any next state. Other numbers have next state. Yeah, so this is another example that uh, you may have the don't care terms or don't care value in your next state uh, part. Okay, next state part and also the JK yeah, uh, for the excitation table. Yeah. So I hope you can um, get or you can understand um, the situation or the example of the don't get terms okay, inside your excitation table. Okay. Either the numbers are not in the counting sequences, okay, like example 4. Okay, there are four missing numbers, so that's why you need to put X for that missing numbers for the next state, also the J and K. And another example, just like this example, okay, which is one of the numbers, which is number 6, don't have next arrow or don't have next state. Okay, so you need to put X for next state value of decimal 6. Okay, so that's all for uh designing um uh, counter circuit okay how you can design a synchronous counter circuit so i already show you four examples so i hope you can understand uh, this uh, this part yeah which is the designing a synchronous counter circuit